Hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday DJ Gig Tips, brought to you by Vibo, the music request app. I ran out of time today, I've had a very, very busy day, so I'm kind of winging this gig tip, and I hope that's okay. And by the way, if you like these gig tips, please let me know in the comment section of this video. I'm leaning up against my Chevy Suburban, which has been in the shop now since early May. It is now early September. I'm very happy to have it back. This is my gear vehicle. This is my daily driver. I've owned this truck for 11 years. I bought it when it was six years old, but it serves my purposes incredibly well as a DJ hauler. And it's a very comfortable daily driver. I thought it would be interesting to talk about what came first, the DJ equipment or the vehicle we have to haul the stuff around in. Kind of like the chicken and the egg thing. For me, it was the vehicle. When I built my first DJ rig, I built it to fit in my 1978 two-door Olds Cutlass Supreme. And it did. The speakers went in the back seat, stuff went in the trunk, stuff went in the passenger seat. I got an entire rig in this Olds Cutlass. I was considering what kind of cargo area I had in the vehicle that I owned when I built the original rig. And as things grew, I had to get a bigger vehicle. And I drove pickup trucks for years, which I think are pretty good gear hauling vehicles, especially if you have a cap on them. They're built to haul loads, and you can usually get quite a bit in the bed of a pickup truck with some kind of cap on it. Then I bought this Suburban, and to my surprise, this was a much better deal. And one in particular reason, I didn't have to lean over the tailgate of a pickup truck to get anything out of this Suburban because it's got a lift gate on it. You lift the gate up and the gear is right there in front of you. You don't have to bend way over to pick anything up like you would in a pickup. Another cool thing about an SUV like a Suburban is that if your equipment is inside the same cabin that you're either heating or cooling off with heat or air conditioning your vehicle, by the time you get to an event, your gear isn't either super hot or super cold, even if it's been in the vehicle for a while, because the climate control within the vehicle has helped with the temperature. This is a big deal for those of us who live in places like Wisconsin. Our winters are brutal, and when you have your gear in the back of a pickup truck, it's not climate controlled. So it can get very cold, and when you bring very cold equipment into a venue, when that hot air meets cold air plus condensation, you get moisture all over electronics. And I think that's a drag. <laughs> you don't want that. Sometimes you have to sit there and wait for gear to warm up. Not the case. And something like an SUV, it gradually warms up with your heater in your vehicle. By the time you get there, it might not be toasty warm, but it's closer to room temperature than it would have been just bringing it in cold. And as much as I hate to admit it, I think a minivan is a really nice choice for DJs. I personally can't bring myself to own one or drive one, but they're a great choice. They're affordable. You've got side doors, you've got tons of cargo. It's a really nice vehicle. So, like I said, I can't personally do it because of my ego, but they're a great vehicle to haul your equipment in. And it all really kind of depends on what kind of DJ you are. Like the kind of DJ I am, I'm doing like the 150, 200 person wedding receptions, the occasional school dance, the occasional quinceanera, things like that. So I can get away with something like a Suburban to haul my equipment in and have room for four to sit. But there are some people out there who have giant production rigs. Sometimes they have to have trailers they have to tow behind trucks and that's cool. I'm just kind of talking about those of us who are doing smaller events. Now there are a lot of you out there who are using cars to haul your stuff around. And that's great if you can do it. Sometimes the hatchbacks are fantastic. I had a friend who was in Chicago and he drove a Toyota Corolla and he said it was like a clown car. It doesn't look very big, but once you fold the seats down, you can get a lot of stuff in there and he could. It packed in real nice. Something I really missed about the Suburban is that I have an in-dash GPS. So when I'm trying to find a venue, I've got a real-time map showing me where I am and where my intersections are. The way I don't use a GPS is to you know, punch in a location on my phone and have 
someone talked me through every turn. In 300 feet, turn right. In 400 feet, turn left. Make a U-turn. And 1,000 feet, none of that. I can't stand that lady when she's talking. What I want to know is where I am and what's in front of me. And, you know, sometimes what direction I'm going in. Sometimes I do get turned around with my north, south, east, and west. And the index GPS is really nice for that, especially when I'm way out in the country. I did an event, I think it was two weeks ago. I did that barn gig where it rained. Maybe that was three weeks ago. Maybe you saw the gig log. At any rate, I looked at the map on Google to see how to get to this place way out in the country. And it was an easy way. It was like a, you get the freeway, you make one, two turns, and you're there. When I got there, the bridge was out on the one road that I had mapped out and I had printed out. I had to kind of follow my nose and figure out how to get there. The GPS would have really came in handy. So this is great to have in the truck. I'm so happy this has it. You could use your phone. And I guess I could have used my phone, but the problem was I don't think I even had cell signal up there. This is a global positioning system in this thing. So it's taking it from a satellite. It's not taking it from my cell signal. So, yeah, I'm happy to have the truck back. That's it, guys. Let us know what you think of this very strange, impromptu, last-minute, oh, crap, I forgot to do one, Tuesday gig tip in the conversation, in the in the comment section. I'm going to turn the camera off, get this uploaded, and i got a DJ and TV broadcast in probably about an hour, so time to get to work. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Practice and enjoy.